It's a pleasure to be joined by Frank Smith. Frank, we're here at the media lunch. I haven't had any of that, by the way, at the moment. Cause it's good, you missed, you. you missed the good bits. Well, you no, missed all the good bits. I don't eat greens, mate, so the first couple of things that come out were green, so I'm happy to be oh. here and interviewing you anyway. Listen, I want to talk about the format, really, you know, yeah. the 5v5 format, but more importantly, the, you know, the relationship between Frank and Eddie mm. and how good that is for boxing out here in Saudi Arabia. 100%. Look, it's mad to think, what, eight months ago? Yeah. Back when they did the Battle of the Baddest show here with uh, Tyson Fury and Francis Ngannou. Nothing could change then. And then obviously all, all changed with December. We did the Joshua show. And it's good for the sport of boxing. Mm. You know, at the end of the day, so much of the stuff that created issues was all this. Yeah. Not you, but, yeah. you know, so he said, she said, you yeah, said, they said. And it goes back and forth and it doesn't actually do anything mm. beneficial for the sport of boxing. So I think it's in a great place. I think the 5v5, the concept's great. I think it's giving, you know, some people are questioning it's more about the promoters than the fighters but actually it's giving more of a platform I think for the fighters you know to get more eyeballs as well because yeah. people are buying into the concept yeah I totally agree with that I think that the team the team thing as well brings out the more the best in the fighter because the fighters then you know they want to win they yeah. want that you know they want that victory and like you say you know the egos are two promoters they both want their teams to win so desperately and it's only healthy for the sport that you are getting these big fights that we've got out here I mean Deontay Wilder versus Jale Zhang yeah. people questioning has Wilder as the fight left him on that last performance you'd have to say yeah Jale Zhang unlucky against Joseph Parker great fight Daniel Dubois Hergovic again another great fight yeah. a 50-50 I mean that's what you're putting on Frank isn't it 50-50 yeah. so the only winners are oh, the fight fans. Yeah, real fights. You know, even other fights as well. Austin Williams as well against yeah. Hamza Shiraz. Mm. It's a 50-50 fight. That's mm. two fighters taking a risk at the stage of their career. You know, the winner's going to go on and challenge for the world title. Ray Ford, Nick Ball, another 50-50. Mm. You know, we favour Ray Ford in there, but Nick Ball's going to go and, as he showed when he fought Vargas, he deserved to win the world title back in March. Brilliant fight. Craig Richards, mm. Willie Hutchinson. All of these fights are fights that maybe wouldn't have happened in the past yeah. but they're real 50-50s and you know this could go either way even though I'm going for a 5 nil win because otherwise I've got to go down Frank's office and make tea all day dressed as a French mate <laughs> mate you should have done that because some some things you can't unsee and you've just done that to me mate but anyway I've got a picture of it I've got the outfit I've already tried it just to make sure it fits for size I'll send it to you oh mate yeah. I'm now I'm seriously disturbed mate but let, Frank look we've known each other a long time did you ever envision that this was ever going to happen you know like Frank Warren Eddie Hearn working together the way they have and the way that you know it's pushed on I mean I know what people are going to say yeah well Turkey I'll shake the investment of Saudi Arabia that's what's pulled them together but I've been at the media lunch here and they're sitting there all of them sitting around there George and Francis Warren are there as well yourself Eddie I mean it's pretty cool if I'm totally honest and I think that it's a great sign for boxing moving forward. 100%. Look, we're always going to be competitors at the end of the day. That's always going to remain. We've got that on Saturday night, to be fair. Yeah, exactly. And, and we're always going to... We have worked together in the past, but I think now more than ever, there's just a free... There's a communication, open line now. We talk, we try and make things happen. We're doing it in the UK now as well. You know, we had uh, the weekend, Ellis Zorro fought Chev Clark, for example. Shabazz Massoud fights Liam Davis on Queensbury show, yeah. which is good. It's making real fights happen, not just in Saudi, but all around the world. So... I'll be honest with you, I was at the workout yesterday and I was looking up at the screen it was a picture of Eddie and Frank Warren, what looked like Times Square, you know, all those screens. Yeah, yeah. And I was thinking, how on earth have we ended up here? Uh, but I, that's it, the same as me. But it's great, it's great for the sport and uh, long may it continue, you know. Like I say, we've still got our own businesses to run, we've still got to do right by our fighters, we've still got to do right by our businesses, but it's moving in the right direction and long may it continue. Is there longevity in it? Like this 5v5 format I think really works because you're getting the best versus the best. And it's not like you sort of like fighters protecting their records moving and politics getting in the way of it all. Um, you know, I think it's just, you know, so I think there is longevity in this, right? 100%, 100%. Like I say, people are buying into it. Fans are buying into the concept. And it can be created around the world. We'll do it in the UK. We'll do it back here again. And we'll do it with other promoters. So, you know, I think it's good for the sport and we're going to see a lot more of it. AJ, you know, he's, he's out here actually. He's coming out here, I believe, today. He's, yeah, he's yeah. landing or something. He's got a close eye on what's going on out here. Deontay yeah. Wilder, AJ, has been talked about for many years. If he comes through and looks great, <laughs> is that a fight that could possibly happen? I mean, Alexander Usyk, Tyson Fury, last couple of weeks ago, only a couple of weeks ago, which is insane, yeah. you got this show. 
you know, Usyk now winning. Yeah. But, you know, where does AJ fit, AJ fit into this picture is probably what I'm trying to say. There's massive fights. Like, all of these fights, I always said, the Tyson Fury fight, regardless of the result in the Usyk fight, is the biggest fight out there. Anthony mm. Joshua, Tyson Fury is the biggest fight in the sport, I'd say, right now. I, you know, regardless of the results. Yeah. You know, you've got the Dubois Hergovic winner. You've got Wilder, if he can come back with a showreel knockout. That's a massive fight. That's a fight that's been called for for a long time. People want to see real fights with narrative, with stories that have been built over the years. And I think we're in the best possible position. I think over the next 12, 18 months, you're going to see all the big fights happen and AJ's going to be involved in them. I mean, rumour has it that AJ fights Wembley Stadium September the 20th. Um, like I say, you've got Daniel Dubois, Philip Hergovic fighting, possibly the winner fighting AJ there. Deontay Wilder, if he looks sensational, could he be in the mix there? I mean, is that the conversations that are going on at the moment? Yeah, look, boxing moves so quickly every day, you can't look beyond Saturday, I think. That's why AJ's here. He wants to see all the heavyweights. He, he was here for Usyk Fury, as you say, a couple of weeks ago. He wants to see all those big fights, and he's ready for all the biggest fights. So, you know, lots of discussion and lots of talk around September, as you say, at Wembley. Let's see how the next couple of weeks play out, and hopefully some news soon. What's the pick of the night for you on Saturday? I mean, there's so many 50-50 fights yeah. there when you go there. Like you, like you say, fights that are getting overlooked, maybe just a little bit like Nick Ball, Ray Ford for me. is mm. like my old like, my weight group, yeah. you're looking at that, and I go, that is a 50-50. Ammo Williams versus Hamza Suraz is an insane fight as well. Where do you go with it? What's the one that you feel may steal the show? I think William Shiraz. You I know, agree. I think a lot fun. of people are talking up Hamza Shiraz. He's a brilliant fighter. Obviously, he had a great win against um, Liam uh, in his last fight. Liam Williams yeah. in his last fight out. Great finish there. But I think Ammo Williams is in the shape of his life. You know, yeah. he, he had his check way the other day. He's just, he looks unbelievable. And he's going to go in there. He's, he's more dedicated and focused than ever. So, so much riding on this performance on Saturday night. So I think that, sh that fight's going to steal the show. And I think it's going to be a big, big win for Ammo Williams. Brilliant, Frank. So much for your time, mate. And um, get back to your lunch. I'm going to go and see, see my meat boy. there, mate. Or a little bit of going to go and see the Warrens. Yeah, go on. <laughs> Who would have thought it? I'm telling you, mate, it's absolutely insane. It's like, you know, I've been in games so long and I'd sit there and I'm, just, I'm looking at what's going on and I'm going, this relationship looks real. <laughs> Unless they're all brilliant actors. But yeah, Frank, so much. thanks so much Good for your time, you, mate. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate.